Hello students. Today we will be discussing the expression of electric field due to a long thin straight current carrying conductor having uniform linear charge density lambda without using cos theorem. So in another video you can see we have determined the expression of electric field using cos theorem. So the expression will be same. Today's expression will be same as the uh, expression of electric field due to a long infinitely state current carrying conductor using cos theorem but here today we will derive the expression without using this cos law so from the figure you can see that we have considered an infinitely line of charge with uniform line charge density lambda so we want to calculate the electric field at any point p at a distance y from it so the charge on small element dx of the line charged will be dq in is equal to lambda into dx since lambda is equal to charge by distance and distance we have chosen dx so dq we can simply write lambda into dx now we know the electric field at a point p we have taken that point p you can see from the figure due to the charge element dq will be de is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 dq by r square so now you have to put the value of dq and r square so obviously from figure it is clear that r square is equal to x square plus y square and dq we can write lambda into dx fine so de will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 lambda dx by x square plus y square now the electric field de has two components in x axis it has component minus d sin theta in y axis it has components plus d cos theta so in x axis you can see i have written minus d sin theta the negative sign in x component indicates here that the dex acts in the negative x direction every charge element on the right has a corresponding charge element on the left the x components of the two such charge elements will be equal and opposite and hence cancel out the resultant field e gets contributions only from y components and is given by what e is equal to ey means if you calculate if you want to calculate the ey that obviously you should take the integration of small element of ey means dey integration dey will give you total e so now we have chosen the limit minus infinity to plus infinity so integration cos theta d now cos theta into d in place of d we have put the value so now we have integrate that so while integration we also we put that x is equal to y tan theta so that derivative of x means dx is be y x square theta d theta so now after getting this we have changed the limit from x is equal to 0 to infinity to theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 according to the basic formula of the definite integrations now what I have to put I have to put the value of dx value of x square and dx x square and y square so simply in place of dx we have we can put y x square theta d theta in place of x square plus y square we can put y square plus y square 10 square theta taking y square as common we can write y square into 1 plus 10 square theta so now that y element will be cancelled out y element will be out of the integration 1 y will be cancelled out then integration in integration it will be theta 0 to theta pi by 2 cos theta d theta now integration cos theta is sin theta so now after getting after putting the upper limit minus lower limit you will get the expression same as the expression you have got from using cos theorem so that was the same expression now we have the expression electric field lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 y so in uh, whenever we have uh, while using the cos theorem so according to the cos theorem whenever we uh, calculated the expression of electric field due to a long straight current carrying ion that was the same so that expression was electric field is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 r so now here instead of r we have chosen y you can 
also take R. So expression will be same. So from expression of this means electric field, we can conclude that electric field is inversely proportional to the distance because you can see from the figure that electric field is inversely proportional to Y. Fine. So this is another expression means another important expression of electric field but here we cannot use Gauss theorem you can see from the expression that we in each and every place we have uh, used the fundamental of mathematics nothing else but we don't use any application of Gauss theorems or we cannot use the direct expression of Gauss theorem fine